Hey guys, welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Uh, this one here, uh, it, it's kind of insulting to me. I've had people ask me to do it ever since I did Don't Whack Your Boss way, 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 way back in November last year, and then way, 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 way back in June of two years ago when we did it just showing it with no commentary. Um, as a educator, <laughs> some of these things I could see why they kids would want to do it because I've seen quite a few people that I would sometimes like to just, what are you doing? Um, many, many teachers sometimes. Box10.com. Yeah, great. Uh, Only great games. I, I bet. Now, shut up. I'm talking. Uh, well, you just took that from Resident Evil, so I already know it's going to be bad. Hey! This is an outrage! I agree. It is an outrage. What did he do? It'd be different if he sucked. All right. So apparently this teacher is old and grumbly. I have met many old and grumbly teachers. However, I work with an older teacher who is excellent and loved by all kids. However, uh, there are many bad ones, and I'll discuss some of my least favorite things I've witnessed as an educator or as a kid. So we have 13 things that we can do. As you can see, I've kind of gone over quite a few of them. So let's do... Uh, Let's do the pencil first. And... Dare you. Ow! Hey! That, you know, the why didn't he just, like, get up and run? He's just letting this kid just beat the crap out of him. He's foaming at the mouth. Wow. Wow, kid. Good lord, you need... I think you... You, sir, need help. <laughs> well, uh, he's dead. Now, before we move on, I'll talk about one. This happened a couple years ago, and I'm not going to say where, not going to say who, not going to say anything about it, because that's none of your, your none of your damn business, to be honest. So, this teacher actually said to the class, I'm not racist, but you're making me that way. She was fired. Let's see. Just a, it was, I cannot believe that someone would do that. Oh, nice little spin. Ow. Dare you. Ah, ooh, man, this kid's got some skills. Ow. That kid needs to be on the gymnastics team. Now, one of my favorite teachers of all time was my, one of my high school teachers. And, um,. I definitely, I mean, for 10 years after I was out of school, I helped with the program that I was in, the, the uh, marching band. And that just shows how much you like and respect somebody when you go back that long. Well, granted, I was paid, but it was still fun to do. And she was one of the best. That and one, my middle school band director as well. I actually helped her put her room together a couple days ago because I live really close to the school. And just because I felt like it. There's no reason to do something. She needed help. You do things like that for good people. Now let's use the animals here. Ooh. He's got some blood there. Now, what teacher's gonna have that crap in his room? Whoa, 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 buddy. You... Oh, dear. You must really hate him. You must really not like that man. <laughs> oh, my. Um, I actually, we had a teacher when I was in fifth grade that duct taped the kids' mouths closed. She was fired. Immediately. Oh, get him with the stapler! Oh, man. Um, I don't think he's okay. Now, my philosophy is don't treat them like they're stupid. My thing is, if you are respectful to me, I will be respectful to you, and we will have a good time. I joke. I try to keep in touch with what in the world the kids are doing these days. I mean, it helps that I'm not old, but you it doesn't matter. I'm old enough to where I don't know what a lot of the things kids like are. So you have to look and try to find out and talk to them about it. I don't know why people don't care about what they do. 
care about everything. I don't understand why people like kids do stuff and teachers don't ask about it. Uh, you know, related arts teachers, we, they always say, be like them, be like them. Well, that's because we care about kids. That's why you should be a teach when you are a teacher. You care about the kids. You don't hate them. You don't make things like this happen. How dare you? And there are plenty of teachers that probably deserve this. Yes, it's low paying, but you knew that getting into it. Oh, that was a good little knuckle sandwich there, kiddo. <laughs> oh, he's still seasoned. Good enough. And I enjoy that the entertainer is being played in the background. <laughs> oh, the scissors. This might not be good. Hmm? You cut his tie. How dare you? I love Mike. He's ashamed. Oh my. Oh. Oh dear. Um. Oh dear. I hope nobody ever wants to do that to me. Hmm. Ooh, a book. I am ashamed. Ow! Goodness! Oh! Oh my! Oh! Dude, that kid's not all that big. You think you could overpower him? Oh dear. Let's see what the book bag does. Oh, it's a present. I've gotten presents. Those are fun. Yeah, it's Sims talk. See, I'd be really happy right now, too. Oh! Oh. Oh, my. Oh! Wow. 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 Actually, I saw some kids playing this in the uh, lab one time when they're not supposed to be playing them, and I looked one day. I was like, "Hmm, is that me you're pretending?" Oh, no, Miss. No, that's that's not what we want. No. I'm like, okay, it's that's not nice. You know, turn it off. <laughs> but not supposed to be on that stuff. I never say I'm ashamed. Dare you? I I have said how dare you. It works quite well actually to say it. Oh. Well, I guess that went through a spun. Hmm. Well, let's do the plug. Oh, so this is kind of like, you know, Agent 13. Hey, come on, he's a little kid. Take him down. Take him down. He's a little kid. You went the wrong way. You're going to crush the spine against the bookcase. And then you died like a moron. Look, he hurt him, though. The moral of the story is, don't be a douche. You can discipline and be good. Oh! Lord have mercy! Oh! Oh! No, 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 no! Oh! See, I don't even sit at my desk, so none of this can happen. My desk sits against the wall out of the way. And I have a smart board where I can show awesome stuff. I like to show concerts in my class because uh, I teach general music to regular students. So I like to show stuff like Earth, Wind, and Fire Live and fun things that, and Michael Jackson stuff and show them what it was like in the 80s. Pe things that are fun. That's that's kind of you know what we're supposed to do as music educators. We make things fun and learning. Yes, there's tests, but there's plenty of other stuff too. Uh, I don't think we've used this. You trip? Oh, so See, what, what did this teacher do to this kid? He seems really concerned about him there, then he just wails on him. He must have really done something. Did we do the baseball bat? No, we didn't. Oh! Oh, my! Louisville Slugger! Oh! Oh! I agree. Ouch. And I guess it ended. Okay, it did. Why did it do that? So, uh, he was dreaming, of course, the whole time. So, <laughs> thankfully, he's only dreaming of 
doing horrible things like that. But let me tell you something, and I'm going to get on my soapbox for a couple seconds. Like I said earlier, if you don't treat them like crap, they're not. you don't have to worry about it. You know, I've worked at what's considered one of the toughest places to work. I've wrote one kid up, one, the whole, in, one, in, a, in a whole year, one. And it was at the very end of the year. And I was really mad that I even had to do that. Because I don't like doing it. I like taking care of things in the classroom. Because the principals get deal, have to deal with enough crap. You know, you should be able to deal with your own stuff. So here, my philosophy on this is, if you're a teacher, I'm sure you're not watching this. Because you wouldn't. But you know what? Listen to me. If students, you have lots of teachers that really care about you. And want you to succeed. More so than those ones that are miserable failures. That for some reason hate kids and decided to teach. Don't know why they did that. But most of us do care. And we want to see you do well. So don't kill us. Don't whack us. We, we, we want to keep going. So this has been Sax Cat 20 playing Don't Whack the Teacher. Please don't. I like my head. It's, it's nice and comfortable. I don't want it cut off. Until next time, guys. Later.